In modern day television, these award shows are usually a dub, but let's talk about the fashions and certain stars getting snubbed. Let's discuss. Testing, testing, one, two, three. We're here to talk about fashion, pain, and misery. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Beasley here. I hope you all are staying cool, calm, and collected out there. So I wanted to go ahead and, you know, implement some more fashion into my channel because if you guys are new to my channel, welcome to Beasley Says, where we talk about beauty, fashion, LGBT, what a dash of T. Follow me, Beasley. I make you laugh for free. But I wanted to go ahead and implement more fashion stuff into this channel because I've been pretty heavy on the LGBT topics and on top of that I don't really want to think that much anymore right now so let's go ahead and get into these looks shall we so I categorize these looks into hot hmm and misses hot is if the look is hot hmm is a questionable fashion look and a miss is just an absolute miss not a diss but a miss so the category is misses so starting off with the misses my first miss is Winnie Harlow aka Miss 101 Dalmatians she is actually a repeat offender on my channel for having these just these very questionable tragic fashion looks you guys she showed up to this carpet wearing Armani Privé and I must say <sighs> you guys, I, I hate it. <laughs> now before I go all the way in, I do like her hair and I do like her makeup, but I feel like this yellow on her just washes her out. Like it washes out the um the lighter parts of her skin tone. Like it just does not look good, especially like against the white background. Like I'm just not I'm just not a fan of it at all. I mean it's cute, but it's like very safe, yet kind of just it just was not the right shade of yellow for her. Yellow does not really look the best on her, in my opinion. Like, y'all may disagree with me, but I just am not feeling this look at all. I mean, she's on brand for Easter. I mean, if that's what she was channeling, like, it looks on par with Easter colors, but baby, I'm just not a fan. My number one miss. My second miss is Rihanna. Now you guys, I love Rihanna, but I have not been feeling Rihanna's fashion for a while now. And I mean a good while. Like she used to be the fashion queen, and now she dresses like she has no self-esteem, you guys. She is wearing this brand called Alaya. Now Alaya is usually on fire, but this, she, I don't like it. Like, it's given, like, pregnant dominatrix, gotta go to a cocktail party, appease her guests, and go home and get some bed rest. Like, I'm just not feeling it at all. Rihanna, you can do better, but honestly, homegirl's in a space where she does not have to even care anymore. My next miss is Sierra. Now, this dress has caused a lot of controversy on the social media streets, mainly because, like, you know, Sierra and Russell Wilson, they, like, they put on this front, like, they're this holier-than-thou couple, you know, they're always praising Jesus, 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 but yet they're showing up to the red carpet, I mean, blue carpet, bucket naked. Like, Sierra, I'm just not feeling this. I feel like a lot of these girls are trying to do what Rihanna did back in the day at um, the CDA Fashion Awards. Like, I really feel like they're trying to channel that, but like, I feel like that's something only Rihanna can do. And then on top of that, like, Sierra got a lot of flack, but she wasn't the only girl to show up to the carpet in like a sheer dress. I mean, we have example one, example two, and example three. Everybody's buck naked and I can see, see the areolas, baby. But I will say, I, I don't like it. I just don't like it. My next miss is Russell Westbrook and his wife, Nina Westbrook. You know, him and his butch wife are wearing Thom Brown and they just look like two clowns. They look like a grown, like, Phil and Lil from the Rugrats. Like, they just look... It, it, it just looks so just... Mm -mm. Just, just wrong, especially Nina Westbrook's outfit. My last miss is Monica Lewinsky, AKA the Supreme Dick Sucker, AKA the Queen of the Oral Office. She is wearing uh, Rodart. Rodart, never even heard of it. Baby, she looks so damn frumpy. <laughs> I will say she has aged very well though. Like she, she looks good for her age, but girl, mm mm. I, I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Going over to the hmm category, we have Chrissy Teigen. She is there with um, her husband, John Legend. 
She's kind of channeling, in my opinion, what Jennifer Lopez gave back in the day with that Versace dress, but yet kind of mixed with like a Kim Kardashian MTV or like Grammys look, but like, I, I don't dislike it, but I'm not really fully invested. And mainly because it, it's giving Ric Flair with like Liberace, with a little bit of Versace flair, like, I, I, uh, it, 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 it's cute. She is wearing um, Zara Murad, and I probably butchered that name, but that's the brand that she is wearing at this event. And on top of that, John Legend just looked very classic. Like John Legend is always gonna play it safe. So it's just, it's just, hmm. And then we have Billie Eilish wearing this big ass Rick Owens dress. I'm like, girl, I understand that you wanna cover up your body because you have big titties. You're part of the big titty committee, but this is just overboard, girl. Like, you are way too young and way too beautiful to be looking this damn just tired and tawdry, girl. Like, I, I need her to get some oomph. Like, I need her to get some oomph. You got all the Grammys and all the claim to fame for your sleepy brown music, but girl, like, you can you be happy? Just be happy. And then we have Donald Glover wearing Fashion Nova. <laughs> a borderline Insta Run Men. If you guys don't know what Insta Run Men is, that's where they sell all like the provocative clothes for gay men, basically, and the Instagram male Instagram thoughts. Like that's what they have. Um, I put him in the him category. Oh, he's wearing Alexander McQueen, by the way. But I put him in the him category mainly because like he took a risk. And I can appreciate a risk and I can appreciate a um, like a spin on a men's suit. Like, I mean, to be honest with you, this is something that I would wear, <laughs> but I wouldn't wear it to the fucking Oscars. But I appreciate him like stepping outside of the box and taking a risk. And in my opinion, he doesn't look, he doesn't really look bad. Like I honestly, like I, I gotta give it to him. Like I just have to. And then my last hmm <laughs> is Tessa Thompson. Her and her tomato titties are wearing Moschino. Now you guys, I will say, I gotta give it to her because just like Donald Glover, she took a risk. She took a risk. This was like a definitely, this was definitely like a different kind of look. Like I haven't really seen anybody wear something similar to this because the dress kind of looks like a tuxedo on the front, but it's like wrapped around her like upper waist, her solar plexus. And then it wraps up into some gloves and then bam, titties, red titties, tomato titties. But she took a risk. She doesn't look bad, but this isn't one of my favorite looks, so she is definitely in the <clears throat> So that brings me to the hot category. My first hot is Usher. Usher, he put a spin on this white suit. He looks very dapper. I love men that put a spin on a suit. That's not just a basic boring black tux, and this definitely looks deluxe. Lux, I love it. I love the white lapel that kind of crosses over into his collarbone. I love the jewels that are embellished on his pants. I just wish the pants were a little more fitted, but I like it. It looks good on him. He looks clean and pristine. My next hot is Janelle Monet. She wore Vera Wang to the Oscars. I love it. I love it. And I love it mainly because she is really starting to like be comfortable with showing some skin and really embracing her like her feminine beauty, her feminine side. Because she used to give like a soft stud tee, but now she is out here looking clean and pretty. Like she just looks gorgeous. The orange looks amazing on her skin and I love the bustier. It is just pushing up those titties. And then we have Jodie Turner-Smith wearing Gucci. And I absolutely, when I first saw this look, I was not the biggest fan of it, but then I had to stare at it. And I just started to fall in love with it the more I looked at it, especially with the red center matching with the nice metallic red lip with the bald head. Homegirl is gorgeous, she's absolutely gorgeous and her star is on the rise. I love it, I love the makeup, I love the red lip, I love the red heart embellishment, I, I love it. Tens across the board to Jodie Turner-Smith. My next hot is Megan Thee Stallion. She is wearing Bach Mai, and I must say she looks just absolutely stunning. For one, the natural hair, love it. I don't think I've ever seen Megan wear anything but 32 inches of weave, but she has 32 inches of very natural kinky hair, and it looks gorgeous on her, like just absolutely amazing. And I like that she paired it with very minimal makeup. She kind of went with a um, no makeup makeup look, which just goes great with the natural hair and 
embracing her natural black features. And I just love this mermaid dress. It's super cute, super sleek and black, just beautiful. Tims, Tims, Tims. And speaking of Tims, my next Tim is by the name of Tims. Now she is wearing Le Vere Couture and she just looks like a beautiful chocolate sexy cloud, you guys. I just love this look. It was different. It kind of reminds me of Cardi B's, um, was it a Grammy look that she wore that blue dress? Like, um, who cares? But like, it reminds me of Cardi B's blue dress that she wore a few months back. But this is the white version. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love the way it's cut. I love the way it fits her. I like the slit in the dress. She also has very minimal makeup. The makeup is gorgeous. Tim's just a naturally gorgeous individual. Just like a beautiful piece of Godiva chocolate. The next hot is Harry Shoon Jr. He is wearing, um, I think it's called Adim. Adim. I've never heard of that brand, but Adim. I like this suit because it kind of represents like it, it's kind of has like an Asian type of look to it. Like it's cut differently. Like it just hits differently and it looks different. Like I just love it. I said this earlier. I love when men put a spin on suits and keep them from looking basic, black, and boring. Like this is absolutely nice, dapper, and unique. My next hot is our snubbed queen by the name of Angela Bassett. She is also wearing Moschino. It's a beautiful royal purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors, but that's not the reason why I picked this dress. She just looks like a gorgeous Hollywood woman. I just absolutely just love this look. I love her diamond snake necklace, and I love the makeup as well. Angela Bassett is just a ageless, timeless beauty, and we're gonna talk about her being snubbed a little bit later. My last hot and most hot, in my opinion, is Fan Bing Bing. Now, if you guys don't know who Fan Bing Bing is, she is an Asian actress from overseas. I think she was also in like an X-Men movie like a few years back, but baby, she just looks glamorous, just beautiful, tens, triple tens, you guys. She is wearing Tony Ward. I just love it. I love the green shawl that I think is sewn into the back of the dress. If not, it's clipped into the dress. Who knows and who cares? It's beautiful. It looks like a nice green bow on top of like the shimmery low cut dress. It is just beautiful. I love it. I think the dress actually has Swarovski crystals in it. She just looks like a timeless beauty. Just a classic beauty, old Hollywood glamour. That's what I love, and that's what we need to make a comeback. Old Hollywood glamour looks. All right, so first off, I wanna talk about Rihanna's performance. Baby girl, <laughs> retire. Please just retire. Just retire, girl. You need to just give it up. <laughs> Leave that career behind, baby. Like, you don't want to give it time. It's not even worth a dime anymore, girl. You're making money in other industries. Just continue to make money in other industries. Like, I understand that Rock Nation's probably forcing her to get on stage when she really does not want to, but it's just like, girl, like, like. I thought that Rihanna would have got more vocal training in her absence, but like she was up there shaking, baby. Just shaking. She jingling, baby. <laughs> no head, baby. Like I said all the time, I love Rihanna down, but girl, you starting to look like a clown, a pregnant clown. Like, girl, just, just go to these award shows and sit down. And on the topic of Angela Bassett and Rihanna getting snubbed for Black Panther 2. Now, you guys, unpopular opinion. Neither one of them deserved the Oscar. Like, I, I just gotta keep it real. First of all, Black Panther 2 is a Marvel movie. To my knowledge, and I may be wrong, when's the last time we ever had a Marvel movie get an Oscar? Like, get an award for an Oscar? Like, I, maybe Black Panther got an Oscar. I, I, I don't know. But, baby, look. If you guys saw Black Panther 2... It was not Oscar worthy. I just gotta keep it all the way real with you. Like, I went to the theaters to see it, so that gives me the ticket to critique it. And baby, Black Panther 2 was not giving what the first movie gave. Do I think Angela Bassett deserves an Oscar? Absolutely, 100%. She has been snubbed for years upon years. But do I think she deserved it for Black Panther 2? Absolutely not, I'm sorry. First of all, her performance in that movie was not even, it wasn't really anything to write home about. Like, it really wasn't. Like, it was good. Like, she's always going to show up and do what she needs to do. But Oscar-worthy? No. 
And Rihanna, for one, did not deserve an Oscar for that Lift Me Down song, you guys. Like, I'm sorry. That song just... For it to be, like, lift you, lift you up, like, to say, like, lift me up, that song really just lets me down, you guys. It's like a Debbie Downer of a song. Like, it's just very just... Like, ugh, like emo R&B. Now, I may come up as a hater to some of y'all. Like I said, I love both of these women dearly, but Black Panther 2 was not Oscar-worthy to me, baby. It, it just wasn't. It just wasn't. And if you guys could take the time to go see it, some of you may love the movie, but a lot of you are going to walk away just feeling like, oh, well, that happened. The first Black Panther movie was just a magical experience to me. The second movie didn't even like reach the term of magic. Like it was it was just it was just okay. It was just okay. Let me go on about my day. And on top of that, you guys, we as black people keep repeating the same cycle every single year. Like there there may be a few years where they give us an inch, you know, they give black people an inch of these award shows because we cry, cry, cry. But next year, they just revert back to doing the same shit. Just getting everybody, like, awards that is white, white, white. Like, that's what they always do. They always goop you. We just need to feed back into us. We need to show up to the NAACP Awards and the BET Awards. Like, we, like, it's like Groundhog Day. We go through this every single year and we never learn the same fucking lesson. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of these think pieces. I'm tired of all this fucking bullshit. Be the change that you want to see. If you guys want to be that change, show up to BET. But yeah, y'all, those are my views on the Oscar Awards fashions and also, like, you know, these celebrities getting snubbed. Let me know what you guys think. What were your favorite hots, hmms, and misses? But those are my views. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to come back at you guys with some more content.